For this particular segment of film, we've brought together some film elements that show a intercept test between a Bomark and a North American X-10 drone that took place in September of 1958. The X-10 in itself is a fascinating vehicle. Much like the Bomark, it represents a significant milestone in the development of pilotless aircraft. X-10 was developed as a, a portion of Project Navajo, which was a North American aviation project intended to develop a rocket-boosted cruise missile. The X-10 hardware itself was a subscale version of what was intended to be the cruise missile portion of the, the Navajo complex. By the time that this particular test occurred, the Navajo project had actually been canceled. Rapid developments in ICBM technology, coupled with the, the slow development of many of the core technologies used on Navajo had led to the cancellation of the program in 1957. A decision was made to continue testing the remaining hardware into 1958 as well. Following the cancellation of Navajo, the X-10 hardware developed for that program was then repurposed and reassigned to high-speed drone use for several projects, including Bomark. Again, this footage shows a September 1958 Bomark X-10 intercept test. That test was ultimately unsuccessful and following the missed intercept attempt, the X-10 drone was commanded to return to the skid strip at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. You can see here from the footage that the X-10 did indeed land successfully, but it misses the arresting gear at the end of the skid strip. The X-10 then went off the end of the skid strip into the sand. The landing gear failed and the, the thing burst into flames, unfortunately. Regrettably, that all happened after the cameras recording the landing had been shut off. And you'll notice that there's some subsequent footage of a far-off smoke plume. Out of 13 X-10 airframes that were built, only one of them survived the entire testing program. That particular X-10 is currently on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. Despite the cancellation of Project Navajo, technologies that were developed for that program were integral to the success of uh, many subsequent projects. Those are as varied as the Hound Dog Missile Program. Uh, the inertial guidance system developed for Navajo was used for submarines in the Polaris missile, as well as the North American A-5 Vigilante. Navajo was also the first large rocket engine with a gimbaling capability and had a significant impact on the design of the later Redstone, Thor, Jupiter, and Atlas boosters. The aerodynamic data that was gathered from Navajo tests was instrumental in the development of the XB-70 bomber, and even the Saab Vigan interceptor in Europe. The story of Project Navajo is fascinating and wide-ranging, and we hope to cover that on a future DVD release from Rocket.Arrow.